In this video, I'm going to paint the salt shaker and I mixed up some of these colors already. These are for the background. So for this painting, I decided to complete a drawing first to make it more precise. In my last video, I didn't do that. And it was just a demonstration on how to paint looser. It seems like my in-depth painting demos are kind of like the current one is a reaction towards the last one, where the last one, I really enjoyed painting in a loose style like that, but then it was also frustrating to have to go back in and fix drawing mistakes. I might have to paint this background more than once. I, I try to remind myself to lay this paint down a little heavier because it can dry streaky if you leave it too thin. So on the left side, it starts to get lighter like this. I have to start transitioning over to a, a lighter blue. And while I have this dark blue on my brush, I can start to work it in there. These are golden open acrylics, so they stay wet longer. I'm not too concerned about getting it absolutely smooth. I'm just trying to get the color in on the canvas. So on the left side, it'll be this pure color. So I could take a softer brush like this and just try to smooth it out a little bit. So this is a bigger like mop brush. Now this background color or the table color, it's pretty dark, but it gets lighter towards the edge. So you could take some of this color and mix it in there just to make it lighter. I think that needs to be darker. So I need to just fill this in down here. This is all just pretty much the same color. That might need to go a little darker. Could use black, but I usually mix with darker colors. Most of this painting is this table color, and then you got the background color too. So it makes sense to paint the right side of this, the left side of this, before I move on to anything else. I had a lot of glare on that side, so I turned that light off. Try and follow my drawing here. I got the left side of this salt shaker to fill in. I think maybe I'll soften that edge. So I usually just go over it pretty lightly with a soft brush. Once in a while you have to wipe the, the paint off your brush. So now I'll do that on this side too. It's starting to get tacky already. I think it's because it's warmer in here today. I can always add more paint to my brush. Go back to my original brush and put some more of that dark color in there. I could see if I could just soften that lightly, just slightly go over this. I'm wiping the paint off the brush so I can go into this lighter area. It looks pretty good. The next area would be the bottom reflection of the salt shaker. And so I, I noticed the color isn't so blue. It gets a little more neutral, especially here. Let's see, the left side of it is probably even lighter. That's about it. Or I'll do this reflection of the salt shaker up front here. It gets lighter over on the left side. I always think about like how much blending am I going to do? Do I want to leave like streaks in here? Do I want to let the brush strokes show? In the last painting I did, I left a lot of expressive like brush strokes and dry brushing in there. And this one, I think I want some smooth uh, blending in there just to go for some of that realism. But I'd also like to indicate that it's actually a painting. I don't really want to go totally photorealistic. So the secret behind painting glass is just drawing these abstract shapes that you see in the reflection. And if you match the color and the value, it should start to look transparent when you place those things in. Right now, it can look a little weird because you're just putting all these patches of color in there. It doesn't really complete the illusion until you get it all in there, so you have to be patient. It gets darker back up here. It goes right up to the, the edge. So I'm just trying to connect this together and fill this in. So I just want to fill in these white gaps, and then I'll paint in like some of the darker shapes that are in there. There's a lot of like little abstract designs that are happen in the reflections. And you can always cut back in with this dark color to fix that edge, which it looks like I'll have to do. But So there's this dark shape that goes creates like an arc like this. I really don't think about painting a salt shaker. I'm just looking at these shapes. Like I said, in my other videos, you can even turn it upside down just to get a different perspective on it. So you're not really looking at what it is. You're just looking at the shapes. But after a while, you kind of train yourself just to look at the color and the location of it. I'm kind of just like putting in the basic overall color and then you could put the smaller shapes on top of it. Take my small brush again, just to put some of those shapes in there real quick. then fill in this dark line that goes in here. All right, so this salt isn't pure white. It's like a grayish color. You really can't just leave the white of the canvas. That just 
doesn't look right. It looks like he didn't paint it. It's hard to judge like the brightest part of the painting without having all the other values in there, which is kind of why I started with the background first. I'm seeing that this should be lighter. It's starting to come together. I think I just need to fill in some of these shapes. Okay, so there's like a lighter section in the front of this, like right here. And on the right side, there's like this bright section. I'm putting the paint on a little thicker. Might be interesting to have some brush strokes show or stand out a little bit more than others. There's a real bright highlight right here. So some of the background shows through right here and I'll put that in. Pretty much the same blue. It's a very fine highlight right here. And then there's some areas that get a little darker like right here. And I notice that this should be darker. There's a lot of subtle blending that's happening in here and it's just a matter of building it up. And then a lot of times I'll move on to another area just so that I'll get a more objective view of it. I don't get too bogged down into it. I think I'll put the basic colors for the top in there. It's interesting because that top of the, the metal part is actually pretty dark. I think it's it's close to this blue. Let's try that out. There are these holes in the lid that I drew and this is the problem with like drawing first is like it'd probably be easier to just paint this whole thing rather than paint around these holes but I already got them in there so might as well capitalize on the work that I did. Of course I choose another subject that has ellipses in it. This is the edge. It's always tough trying to make that look round. It's surprising how blue this is but it's just reflecting the blue background. So there's these lighter highlights. There's some subtle shading in here. I just fill this in with some basic grays and then go back in and refine it. I can start working towards it and just it gets darker here. It does get real dark. So it makes it look shiny as you have dark areas with hard edges next to areas that have gradients in them and smoother blending. It just creates contrast, makes it interesting. It gets real bright. I think the brightest areas are like right here. There's some of that color right here too. So I, I've been looking at this and I got most of it blocked in. I think what I need to work on is like straightening these edges and defining things a little bit more. It looks a little bit fussy and I think I want to adjust some of the values. Like, I think this should be darker. Maybe not quite this dark, but I do think that the blue should get darker towards the bottom. And there's just a bunch of highlights and stuff I have to put in here and just clean some of these edges up. And I think that'll help. I was just noticing it look darker where this reflection is. I think maybe a little more blue in here. I don't want it to look like it's totally black, but it does need to be darker. Probably switch to a bigger, softer brush. Get this in here faster. I could feel this paint starting to tack up a little bit. There's a little bit more like drag on the brush and this edge needs to be fixed. I could also do my trick of rotating the canvas around. Sometimes what I like to do is just pick out an area and just develop it. And I notice there's a light reflection right here. That same color is about right here too. You would think small canvases would be easier, but because they're so small, it's so hard to get your brush in there that it can be more tedious. This side needs some work. It's kind of wobbly. So I'm just trying to fix it up. It's easier to get in at this angle when I have it upside down.
I feel like this lip too is too wide and I have to sharpen it up, make it less fuzzy. So I feel like this needs to be darker. So I noticed there is a darker edge right here. It's like a warm color. So this background I think needs a little work. I was drawing a little thin. I want to put another coat on here. And it'll give me a chance to fix that edge too. So I'll mix some of the darker blue in here. Like I said, rotate the canvas however you need to to get in there. And I washed off my brush so I can get to the darkest blue over here without getting any white in there and work my way back over. So that looks pretty good. I think that fixed it. Maybe that top edge a little more. I might as well try and fix this edge a little better too. Maybe I could soften that background a little bit more. I let this dry for a little bit. It's still tacky. I think that I'll just go in and clean up some of the finer details, maybe this edge right here and some of the details, the holes in the lid, and maybe even some of the stuff within the salt shaker. I think most of these holes are just dark gray and then the top edge has like a white highlight on it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and here are more videos and playlists that you can check out.